the double haul cast, something that's really difficult to describe to people and obviously something that you gotta practice and figure out how to do. But Whitney Inman is a guide and we were on the East Walker River and fly fishing a certain section of the river. She was using the double haul so I asked her to kind of go through a little bit of step by step on that double haul. Hopefully this gives you a little bit, some tips there to on that casting technique. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about casting. So what you can see me do here is I kind of water load as I pick up my line and I try to do a haul. If I wanna aerialize my line or generate more line speed, I'm gonna do a double haul and it's not, this line doesn't really wanna do it well. So essentially the double haul is you're separating your hands at the top of the cast and the front of the cast and you're generating line speed and energy in the rod to help carry more line forward for you. So when you're doing your double haul, when you want to bring your hands together is when you feel the line pull, that it, like it wants to come out of the tip of the rod. So we're gonna finish our retrieve. We're gonna do our little dip and strip here. We're gonna finish our retrieve and as I see the streamer come a little bit closer to me, I'm gonna slowly pick up the rod tip, bring it out of the water. I'm gonna try to get this fly to travel by me a little ways here. If I don't see anything chasing it, now I'm gonna roll cast just to kind of flick it back out there so I can water load, which just means you're using the tension of the water to, um, to create a little flex in the rod, which is gonna help you pick your line and your, your flies up off the water. So I'm gonna do a quick single haul which is again, your line, your hands separating, coming back together, and you're generating more line speed to help carry this heavy fly and this line out a little further and extend your cast. Um, double haul, again, is you're separating your hands at the top of your cast and doing it one more time at the front of your cast. So let's break this down here. Ooh. creating a tighter loop and then shooting your line at the top of your cast. One mistake that I see people do when they're double hauling is they're letting line go as they're, they're letting line slide through their hands, like they're letting line out. So there's nothing for, they're letting line out as they're aerializing their line, meaning that they're carrying, they're aerializing so much line that their cast ends up falling apart. So you don't want to have so much line out that, you, you know, I mean, half of your fly line, you don't really need to be aerializing. The heaviest part of the line is the first 30 feet of your line. That's where your weight comes from and your weight forward line. That's what carries your line out to extend your cast. Don't get overzealous and feel like you've got to, you know, aerialize 50, 60 feet of line. Aerialize what you need to, get a little bit of that running line out of the tip of your rod. Let that do the work for you as you aerialize. It, increase your line speed with your double haul. Separate your hands at the top of your cast, at the front of your cast with your double haul. If you're a single haul, your single haul is only going to be out in front of you here. It's just one. There's your single haul, one, bring them back together. One, bring them back together. A double haul again is a little bit like patting your head and rubbing your belly. It's sort of counterintuitive, but get this going here. You're trying to generate line speed Get that line out, extend your cast. Cool stuff from Whitney Inman. She's a guide on the East Walker River. She's with the Angler's Edge. We can put you in touch with her if you're looking for a professional guide up in that area who's very skilled, knowledgeable of the area, and has been fishing there a long time. I appreciate her going through that double haul, the haul and double haul on her cast. She was streamer fishing in that section of the East Walker, and uh, it was cool to kind of get her perspective on the uh, on that technique 
kind of hard to describe, um, but fun to do and can be really helpful. And we'll see you right here next time on the Batcast.